Michael Schmidt might not need much of an introduction to many of you. Michael is a farmer and an activist. He is currently facing seven concurrent court cases related to his protecting the right for artisanal food ways from our government. He's facing hundreds of thousands of dollars of fines. He's facing jail time. And he's doing that because he simply wants to farm properly. Please put your hands together and welcome my hero, Michael Schmidt. A beautiful good afternoon. Um, thank you for inviting, for inviting me to speak here. For I think for the last three years they asked me to come down, but I always ended up in court cases or I had actually said I would shut up because I had too many court cases on my hand. Because every, every time I get involved in something, I get arrested and charged new. But let me tell you one thing. These, these and uh, it was talked about before here that these rallies, they are important. There's no question. But they're only important if you go home and that you actually take up action. Because if you only come to the rally and put your poster away and keep going with your life, then what you're doing is you you're uh, postponing the problem the next generation will face. So either, and we have the choice, either we deal with the problem in order to save the future of our children, or we avoid dealing with the problem, and then our children and grandchildren have to deal with that. And you look around, how many children are here who are, don't have a protection in the future if we don't stand up here? Yeah. I'm not suggesting, I'm not suggesting that, because that amounts to conspiracy. But why are there no fields burning in Canada? Why are we letting things happen? It's not because Monsanto is bad. Monsanto is doing business, and business is bad. But Monsanto is doing what the shareholders want, and we let it happen. So it is us who advance these kind of developments through inaction and through uh, apathy that we don't do and we think others can do the work for us. It's only if you, and when, I, when you look around, there's a lot of weirdos around, but weirdos change the world. And we shouldn't be afraid to be weirdos. Because the problem is that everything which is basically a Tim Hortons system continues in our mind that everybody is conditioned in the same way that we just keep going what is best for commercial business but not best for our children. So I beg you, I honestly beg you, you need to take actions, whatever you think you can do. And I can also tell you that being arrested, sitting in jail, is a freeing experience. Because that's the only time, that's the only time where you realize they finally take you serious. Thank you. He came here to work. That man brought his tractor down to this protest, and we are going to, in a few short moments, walk our way over, and we're going to follow him down the street in solidarity with farmers across the globe. Thank you, Michael.